Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paul Dwayne Show. And now your host, Paul Dwayne. I think we're going to see gay divorce court, finally. It's going to be like the best of Antique Roadshow meets Judge Judy. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, you guys. I've got a, we've got a, such a cool show tonight. Um, our first guest tonight, she is the former Miss Davis County. She's our current Miss Utah. Woo! Would you all please welcome to the stage Miss Kara Arnold. Is it? You feel okay about that? All right, well, that's how we roll over here, right guys? So, our next guest is somebody you all know. She's the recipient of the Edward R. Murrow Award for Journalism. She's uh, one of the newscasters at Fox 13 News. And uh, so I present to you, Ms. Nineveh Dinha. and we have some great ones in Salt Lake City. And uh, tonight I'm gonna introduce you to a really great duo. They're called OB Clever. He's uh, the filmmaker behind movies such as God's Army, Brigham City, and uh, most recently a really cool film called Boys at the Bar. Please put your hands together for Mr. Richard Dutcher. ...dollars that can compete with what Hollywood's putting out. And a hundred million dollars. Okay, to put that in context, like what, you know, the, the typical film people run in and see on a weekend, what, what budgets are they dealing with? Well, it's, you know, 40 million and above for right, right. movies. So, we basically got to try to make something as entertaining and to, and that's what The Boys at the Bar was. It was like I, the film I'd made before this was Evil Angel and it was a horror movie and I'd spent about $7 million making it. Got to do all kinds of great, you know, effects and blood and, you know, all kinds of good, fun stuff. And, um, but then when I got to this, it was like I've got to figure out a way to make a movie for a couple hundred thousand dollars that can compete and be as entertaining as something that, you know, people would go and pay. Right. Nine bucks at the multiplex. So I had one night, I was hanging out with some friends at a bar, and we just found ourselves telling jokes. And just, you know, I walked away from that evening thinking, man, that was like the best night of my life, and I wish I could do that, you know, every weekend. And that's where the inspiration for the movie came, where I wanted to make a movie that was just like, you know, no conflict, no bad guys trying to kill anybody, just, just friends gathering to drink a lot, tell jokes, and have a blast. And so I just gradually started adding things into the movie with, you know, monkeys and midgets and strippers. <laughs> <laughs> monkeys and, and uh, midgets and strippers on my Yeah, and so I think, you know, I was able to, I mean, who, who doesn't want to see monkeys and midgets and strippers? So, all in favor? Thank you for coming out. Everybody come on up, give it up for Obi Flavor. <laughs> 